In this video, I will be teaching you about factorials, and I will also be showing you how to solve basic calculations involving factorials. So, looking at this over here, your initial reaction might be to just read it as 5 with a lot of emphasis. But that's not actually what it's saying. What it's saying is that this is 5 factorial. So factorials are denoted by an exclamation mark. And what factorials are, are they're basically just another type of operation where you have some number and you multiply it by all the numbers lower than it. So for example, five factorials we have over here will be five times four times three times two times one. And we can solve this, we get five times four is 20, 20 times three is 60, and 60 times 2 is 120, so this is equal to 120. And we can do this with any positive number. So let's say that we want to take 3 factorial. What we do here is we take all the numbers lower than 3, which are 2 and 1. So this will be 3 times 2 times 1, which gives us an answer of 6. We can similarly take 8 factorial, which is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and I won't solve this because it's a very long calculation but you get the gist of it so basically when we take the factorial of a number we're multiplying it by all of the whole numbers that are smaller than it going down until 1 Factorials are pretty easy to understand, and you'll understand why they're used in my future videos on permutations and combinations. Another example of a factorial that we can take is 10 factorial. So this is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times dot 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 going on until 1. So if we were to write out what a factorial is, we could say that n, or some number n factorial, is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 going on and on and on until you reach 1. So once again it's a pretty simple concept to understand and it's very helpful and you'll see how it's helpful in our later chapters. Or something important about factorials which is important to note is that let's say if we take 5 factorial for example this once again is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. We can break this up into further polynomials. So for example, if you were to take this part of it, we recognize that 3 times 2 times 1 is 3, is 3 factorial. So this would be 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. Or if we were to take, instead of this part, if we were to, let's say, take this part of our equation, we would get 5 times 4 factorial. And we can do the same thing with any number. So let's say if we want to take 10, we can write that 10 factorial is equal to 10 times 9 factorial. And this is equal to 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. And you can rearrange this however you want. And this that I just taught you over here is important for doing calculations involving factorials. So I'll do a few sample calculations just to show you what you might come across. So it's a very simple example. Let's say we have 4 factorial over 2 factorial. So what we can do here initially is we can just write this out. So this would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is divided by 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. And we see immediately that this 2 times 1 and this 2 times 1 can be cancelled out, giving us 4 times 3, or 12. So using what I just taught you above, we, can, we could also say that 4 factorial is the same thing as 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. And from this we get 4 factorial over 2 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial and we can simply cross this out. And now that we know this we can easily cancel out much larger factorials. So let's say we want to solve for 100 or 1005 factorial 
divided by, let's say, 1,000 and 3 factorial. Well, we know that 1,005 factorial can be also be written as 1,005 times 1,004 multiplied by 1,003 factorial. And if we divide this by 1,003 factorial, we see that we can cancel out this number and this number, giving us 1,005 times 1,004. So that's about all I have for you. Factorials, once again, are where you take some number, it's denoted by an explanation point, and you multiply it by all of the whole positive numbers beneath it. And one thing that I want to add is that it's just a rule that you have to know is that 0 factorial is equal to 1. And logically, this doesn't really make much sense to me or to you, but it's just a rule that we have to accept. So this is a rule of mathematics.